welcome to the update. I'm Madeleine Burke. Airstrikes in Gaza have intensified. Israel Defence Forces spokesperson Daniel Hagari says ground forces are expanding their operations, attacking underground targets. As a continuation of our offensive strikes over the last few days, the ground forces are expanding their operations this evening, acting forcefully in all dimensions to achieve the goals of the war. That audio from the BBC. Communication networks have also been cut in Gaza, where Hamas is holding 229 hostages kidnapped during attacks on Israel on the 7th of October that killed 1,400 people. Police and FBI agents are searching a river in the US state of Maine as they hunt the suspect in a mass shooting at a restaurant and bowling alley on Wednesday. The attack in the city of Lewiston left 18 people dead and 13 injured. Police have been searching a river after reports a note was found at the suspect's property. Two men have been charged after New South Wales police found 117 kilos of drugs during a raid of a home in Sydney. 61 kilos of cocaine blocks, 29 kilos of ketamine and 27 kilos of MDMA pills were allegedly stored across seven suitcases. The total drugs found are estimated to have a street value of $42 million. Police are investigating a series of aggravated burglaries across Melbourne's southeast. A number of homes in Ashburton and Camberwell were broken into early yesterday. Police are reminding residents to lock their doors as it appears the thieves targeted unlocked properties. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Alyssa Healy will miss the rest of the Women's Big Bash League season as she continues to recover from a dog bite. After surgery on her index finger, she had hoped to be back for the Sydney Sixers late in the season, but doctors have said that's not realistic with no set date to return to play. It's a cross-Tasman grudge match at the ODI World Cup later on today. Australia taking on New Zealand at Dharamsala with the winner to go one step closer to the semi-finals. In AFLW, Gold Coast is still in the finals hunt after defeating Greater Western Sydney by 31 points. In entertainment news, Stevie Wonder and Michael Bublé are among the artists featured in Sher's first ever Christmas album. Her first new album in five years, titled Christmas, has been released overnight. The 77-year-old singer telling ET her duet with Bublé is unlike anything she's ever performed. Our duet together is pretty much of a tearjerker but you know that's that that's christmas too and that's the latest from the nova podcast news team we'll have another update for you tomorrow i'm madeline burke